Well, hello there, folks. It's been a while. A lot of big changes at Cruiseville, as we've said in our previous videos. We moved down to Lyons, Georgia, near Vidalia, the sweet onion capital of the world. But it's February. The weather's really nice. And you know what that means. It's time for our very first, very early spring containers. Now, we don't have a hometown garden center within 45 minutes or so of here. So that's the closest one. So I just went to Lowe's this morning. They got a few shipments of things in and just wanted to see what they had. So that's what I got. And I decided because of what they already had in stock to do a shade container or partial sun. So I'll show you what all we got. We got some stone crop, which I'll show up close as I'm saying all this. Stone crop, which is for sun, but I think it'll get enough sun for now. We're just looking for something pretty in a container. And then we got some Linton Roses, which I think are one of my favorites. And those are perennial, so they're gonna come back every year. So good investment, and I always love those. And they also bloom very early compared to a lot of other stuff. So they, they bloom into cool weather. And then we've got some, uh, what is this stuff here? Cyclamen. We've got the white and the pink ones. Those are going to be shade loving as well. So we're gonna go ahead. I've got uh, some miracle Grow already in the pot here. We're gonna put all these in there, stuff them in, and just have some fun with it, Range them, uh, rearrange them around if we need to, and then put them out on the porch so we can have something pretty to look at for the next few weeks before everything goes crazy. Let's get to it. I don't know if the wind's gonna mess this video up as far as um, my voice, but we're gonna see what happens. So we're just gonna put some flowers in here and we'll go from there. Maybe I'll be doing a voiceover right now or Maybe we'll be hearing me live. We shall see. All right, let's get to it. So I put a little bit of dirt in here. I'm gonna fill it up after I sit everything in where I want it. I'm gonna cram stuff in here like Laura on Garden Answers because she crammed stuff in hers and that's what we're gonna do. Boom, boom. I think we're gonna have room. I think we are. Yes sir, bud. And then we'll have this bad boy hanging off the top. So let's get to it. That works good, I think. Linton roses, you can't beat them. They're awesome. All right, there's our back layer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pretty soon, I'm gonna need some more dirt already. All right, we took a little break to put a little bit more dirt in here. There we go. It's gonna look pretty right there. Tell you what, I tell you what. I need this a little bit farther to the side. And it's okay to do that. Feel free. Just figure it out as you go. Probably gonna block the camera here with my big back. That's okay. I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for fun. Whimsy. Like that word, whimsy, whimsical. I need a little more dirt under that. Right. So 
Here we go. Cram this over in the corner, like so. That'll look nicely. Now let's make some room for this stone crop. All right, what that makes me think is we want to hire this one up even more. I think I'm going to hire the back ones too, but you get the idea. All right, so we'll fill that in. Maybe hire it up a little bit here. I'll just add a few a layer of dirt on the bottom and sit them back in, but that's how we're going to do it. Here we go. Now you ask, what do we do? It's very simple. We put dirt in between everything and build it up to the top level. We're good to go, I think, now. Ain't that pretty. Let's do it. Okay, folks, there it is. Look at that, how pretty. Now we're gonna do the second one, probably in fast forward motion, but uh, I think that looks pretty good for a little shade container with a little pop of color for early in the season, still February. All right, round two, fight. Did this one a little bit different. Put it higher up so I don't have to fill in quite as much dirt. We'll see how it goes.
Alrighty here, we got them done. Look at that, ain't that pretty? And that is uh, all mostly shade loving except for the stone crop in the front, but it's gonna get some sun. So that was just a quick trip down to Lowe's. Our garden centers are about to go crazy, the ones that are worth driving over to, and I'm gonna do that. Got one that's about 41 minutes away, which I'll be getting the majority of my stuff from this summer. But those, will look great on the porch and give us something to look at with some color. All right, well, stay tuned for a few more seconds to see the most important part about uh, making a mess out here on the new uh, area with the pool. Gotta be careful about that. So, I'll show you what makes everybody happy. But anyway, as you're watching that, if you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll see you soon as we get some more containers going and uh, don't know yet what I'm doing as far as landscaping, yard, all that good stuff. Um, may be a while because we're having some stuff built as well. But we're going to do some containers definitely and put them around the pool right out here in this bright sun. Not these because they're shade. But we're going to go a little container crazy until we figure out what to do with the rest of the landscape. All right. We'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.